YouTube, you beautiful fuckers. How the hell are you? I am TC. And I'm out. We are Tanner X. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if you're new on here, guys. And we are coming at you with yes. day number two of our viewer request week for September. And we are coming at you guys with another Instagram request from our man, Timothy Damar, who hit us up a couple of months ago. I'm sorry, Tim, that we have uh, delayed this for so long. Finally getting around to it, though. But he wanted us to check out Shrine of Malice and their song, Hollow Sockets. Yes. And Shrine of Malice is a four-piece, according to the Facebook page, brutal blackened deathcore from Las Vegas, Nevada. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> blackened okay. deathcore. Oh, okay. So, we're going to get into that, see what it's all about, guys. If you are new around here, guys, we do Viewer Request Week at the end of every month where we give back to our lovely subscribers and viewers. And if you want to get involved, all you got to do is drop a comment down in the, these comment sections of any video we put up this week. Or hit us up on Instagram, hit us up on Twitter, either one. It's a more personal connection. We'd love to get in there and talk to you guys. Yeah. And, you know, just connect a little more on that level. Remember, though, guys, if you missed our other videos from the start of this week, we have a special announcement coming up yes. maybe in tomorrow's video. So be prepared for that. Be ready. I am so excited to finally announce what we have to announce. So... With that being said, without any further ado, guys, if you like this video, slap that like button. If you like to see on this channel, you're new around here, hit that subscribe button, notification bell right next to it so you're good as when they go live. The link to this original video, if you want to check it out, will be down in the description below. But with that being said, let's just rock, let's just roll, get with some blackened, brutal deathcore. Let's go. Look at that deathcore name. <laughs> Okay. Yep, that's death court. Oh. Sounds almost like Corey Taylor from early Slipknot. I mean, not this, of course. Jesus. It's brutal. <laughs> Fast little bridge breakdown. Oh, 
Damn. Well, I'm going to let you take this one since this is your lane and let you go from there. So I really liked how brutal it was. Like, it was so fast-paced yeah. and so hard and so heavy. But I don't know if you noticed, but in the background, there was a slower, softer melody yeah. that really just kind of offset how brutal it was. Um, but that bass line was fucking kicking. Like, that was... Like, I don't know if I have truly, truly enjoyed something so brutal since, like, seventh grade. <laughs> since, like, early <laughs> Bring Me yeah. type feels. Bring Me Horizon. And and his screaming vocals were really kind of interesting because they kind of gave me vibes of a band you know nothing about. But um, <laughs> it's a band called Jester Pose, which he... What is it? Jester Pose. Mm -hmm. So he goes from the deep, like... yeah. You know, um, from within, yeah, and he goes all the way up to kind of a, a squeal, not necessarily a fry, but he has a really wide range, yeah. Um, I don't know, it was just really, it was really interesting though. So, when I mentioned Corey Taylor early Slipknot, it gave me like sick feels, you know, where Corey Taylor kind of goes into that rapping but still deep. From here type yeah. vocal lines. It gave me more of like Suicide Silence. Well, see, I'm not a big... I haven't, first album. I haven't heard a whole lot of Suicide Silence. Yeah. So that's just kind of feels that I got from that. And I'm probably going to get roasted for that. But that's just kind of the feels I got. But musically, instrumentally wise, it was very sound to me. It had a lot of yeah. tempos. It had a lot of changes. Like I said that bass line was fucking But kicking. it wasn't like... All over the place. It was all clean. Yeah. And those drums, of course, in Deathcore, you can never discount the drums. Never. And, you know, he had a crazy kick going on. But like you said, the bass line from the bass guitar was absolutely intense. I don't know. Like, I've never been a big Deathcore fan. Like, I've never really got into this type of music. So it's all new to me. <laughs> like, Slaughter to Prevail, I think, that we checked out from, De uh, when we checked out Demolish yeah. was like one of the very first Deathcore real experiences I've ever, ever had because I've always been on the type of, if I can't understand it, then it's not worth listening to until I really met her and kind of really started understanding music more. And so, like, it's just all, like, so cool to me now, now that I, the older I get and the more I understand mm -hmm. everything that goes into this and the fact that that is not easy and not at that, all. like, that takes a special kind of person. And they're really young, too. Did you yes. notice that? Like, they have so much potential and so much, like, I think this is, like, a two-year-old song, but there's so much potential behind that and it kind of really reminds me of a band we have here with some friends that we know from that we went to school with oh yeah nice, nice. like it kind of really reminded yeah. me of that so i don't know it's just really cool to see like the next wave of you yeah. know hardcore metal kind of coming up and hopefully we'll it's exciting keep up with it's that you know and eventually they'll grow and because you know this sound kind of i don't want to say necessarily fell off but it kind of did it yeah. kind of fell off after but it's what about, started a lot of our huge yeah but it fell off about 2009 yeah so I'm super it's excited like a to see this come back. Yeah. It's it's so. fun. I don't know, guys. Let us know your comments down below. Let us know what you think of Shrine of Malice, guys. If you want to check out more, drop some more down there, and or just drop that you would like for us to bring more to the channel. Yes. But with that being said, though, guys, thank you so much for stopping by today, Tim. Once again, thank you so much for the Instagram request. Don't forget, guys, you can request songs there in the comments here and on Twitter in our DMs. They're always open. But with that being said, I am TC. And I'm out. We are Teenary Acts. Keep your head up. Life is so fucking beautiful. Until next time. Peace. Adios. We will catch you in the next one. Deuces.